Hey guys, it's me. So I got tagged by the beautiful Tara Loves Mac um, for this tag. And if you guys know me, watch my videos, you know I love tag videos. And I especially liked this one. So um, I'm just going to do that tag, vid tag video for you. Um, I'm doing three videos today, so if you guys see me in three of the same outfits and looks, it's because it's the same day. And I love you guys, but I don't feel like I need to change my shirt just because I'm doing a different video. But anyways. So yeah, let's just jump into this. Um, question number one. If you are on an island and can only have one beauty product, what would it be? Honestly, if I could only have one, I really wouldn't care. Like, what is that one product going to do? But if I had to answer, I would probably say mascara. Okay, number two. What's your favorite color? Um, I don't really have, like, one favorite color, but I would say purple, pink, and, like, teals or turquoise or, like, aquas those kind of colors so those three are probably my favorite um number three what's better glitter or matte um depends what it is um a lot of things i do like matte and even though i'm old i'm almost 30 um i love glitter like i'm not saying i'm gonna have like caked on glitter eyeshadow every day or whatever but I don't care. I just, I love glitter. I hate glitter. I love glitter nails, but I hate taking the shit off. It sucks. Um, number four. So I'm just reading these questions from my phone. There's Tara. Um, number four. Which is better, lipstick or lip gloss? I really don't, um, wear a lot of either one, but I'd have to say lip gloss just because I have dry lips and can really see it when I wear lipstick. Number five, which, oh, what's your favorite brand of nail polish and color? So I actually, like, got that. Um, my favorite brand would probably be between Essie, OPI, and Wet n Wild. Just from what I've tried. Um, but my favorite color is, for now, my favorite color now, is um, this Flip Flop Fantasy by China Glaze. I seriously love the color of this nail polish for spring and summer um but china glaze is not my favorite brand i do buy it because i feel like they have a lot of cute colors but the formula of china glaze isn't my favorite i don't feel like it lasts a long time but this has definitely been my favorite color i even took this to my nail salon to get my pedicure because I wanted this color. I love it. Okay. Sorry. Um, uh, number six. Favorite brand of eyeshadow and then favorite color. My favorite brand, hands down, Urban Decay has the best eyeshadow. I don't really feel like I have a favorite color. Of course there are colors I use more than others, but not off the top of my head. Um, number seven, favorite perfume. I seriously just got a new favorite perfume the last couple weeks. Um, and I just bought this size yesterday. Oh, it's a Scotta Cherry in the Air. I am seriously obsessed with this perfume. Like, I have never been a huge perfume person until the last couple of months and... It smells like cherries, but better. It smells sweet. I love it. <sighs> Seriously, I love this perfume. I would normally not pay a lot for perfumes, but I got the rollerball in this one, and I went yesterday and got this size because seriously love it i'm doing my favorites video after this and those two are <laughs> in my favorite video okay um god this is gonna be a long tag video um number eight favorite mascara um 
So this is also in my favorite video. I have been loving the, the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. Um, Tara actually is the one that talks about this and that's why I bought it. I also like the um, L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara um, Benefit. They're real and I don't know, those are probably my top three. Um, do you wear, number nine, do you wear fake eyelashes? No, because I don't know how to put them on. I'd love to. Somebody come over and teach me how to do it, please. Um, I even have some, but I just, I can't do it. I've tried. Um, number ten, have you ever gotten eyelash extensions? If not, would you? No, I haven't, and yeah, I would. Why not? Um, number eleven, what color is your natural hair color? So, my natural hair color is red. Um, all of the red that you see in my hair is mine, and, um, I don't know how well you can tell I'm lighting, but my roots, it's definitely my natural hair color. I want to make sure this is still recording. Okay, so yeah. The red that you see in my hair, it's my natural hair color. Um... Number 12, if you could dye your hair any color, what would it be? It would be blonde. All of it, blonde. Um, I'm just too scared to go all blonde. Everybody tells me don't do it. Um, but yeah, if I had the guts and I had to pick one color to dye all of my hair, it would be blonde. Um, number 12, number 13, have you ever had any bright or crazy hair hair colors if yes what colors no I haven't um I've done like where I do like all the underneath blonde um I've had like blonde brown and black like highlights um I have a text message that I'm gonna check on here ugh it's not important okay now I lost. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to learn to edit so you guys don't have to watch all this stuff. Um, okay. So, number 14. Smoky eyes or the natural look? Both. Um, I think natural is fine, you know, da-da-da, but I actually like, you know, out of the box, like, smoky. Um, not that I do it a lot, but I do like it. Number 15. Online shopping or in-store shopping? Both. I absolutely love to go in the store and shop. I love to try it on. Actually, I don't love to try it on. I have to, you know, to see how it fits. But I also think it's really fun to go shopping online. And, um, like, Torrid, I wear um, a size 5 in their shirts, and they don't carry it in the store, so I have to go online for that. Um, <coughs> number 16. Where do you buy most of your makeup? It's a hard question. Um, we got a Sephora um, in the last year, so I go there. Um, I go to Ulta whenever I can. I do buy stuff at Walmart because it's cheaper than um, like um, Walgreens and CVS. But I do go to Walgreens and CVS because they're both right by my house. Um, so the next question, um, let me see. Um, are you wild or reserved when it comes to style and beauty? I think I'm more reserved, but I wish I was more wild. I know it doesn't make sense, but like, if I could pick out an outfit or hair or something for somebody, I feel like it wouldn't be reserved. But when I go to try clothes on or wear something, it's more just normal, casual, eh. I feel like it's because of my body, like stuff doesn't look good, I don't know. Make me skinny, and we will see. People keep walking past my window, and it's really distracting me. Okay, um, number 18. Would you rather leave the house without any makeup on or be late? I hate when people ask this question. Like, I'm not trying to sound rude, but I have no problem not wearing makeup. Like, I only wear makeup probably twice a week, and... I love makeup, I'm obsessed with it, but like, I just don't feel like I need to put it on every day. I have no problem not wearing makeup. I don't, I kind of don't understand when people say that they won't leave the house without makeup, like, what are they afraid of? Like, 
I don't know. Like, you guys have seen my vlogs. I don't wear makeup all the time. I'm fine with not wearing it. I do love it, though. Don't get that twisted. Okay. Uh, okay, number 19. What's the thing you liked, you like most about makeup? I like how it like transforms people, like you look different. I love just like looking at the colors, I love like the textures, I just, I seriously love everything about it. I'm a big color person, like I love looking at colors. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, anyways, number 20, how about nail polishes and nail designs? Um, I love nail polish, nail designs I'm not super into, just not. I'm not a big nail person. Um, I like nail polish, but I don't know. I'm just not a big nail person. Um, number 21. When was the first time you tried to create a nail design? Uh, I have no clue. Number 22. How did it come out? I have no clue. Number 23. If you had $500, which I don't, would you buy lots of drugstore products or only a few from high-end brands? To be honest, I don't want to sound like a snob, but I would definitely buy um, high-end products. If somebody gave me $500 and said, you have to spend this on makeup, um, I would I would use it to uh, buy high-end. And, sorry, I just want to fix my hair. The reason I say that is I have so much makeup right now that like I don't feel like I need $500 worth of drugstore. Like... If I had $500 and I had all the makeup I had now, I would do high-end. If I had no makeup at all, may yeah, I would probably do drugstore to have more, but I have so much now. Okay, so my battery died, so I had to charge it and I got ready. That's why I have a different shirt on. Um, so I'm just going to finish this tag. Okay, so I think I was on, um, number 24. Oh, I only had two left. That was dumb. Okay, if you could stop yourself from, I can't see the whole question, but I think it said, I think it was, if you could stop yourself from wearing something or makeup, um, back in the day, what would it be? Um, I don't really know. Uh... I mean, of course there's, like, clothes that I wish I never wore, but, like, in five years I'm going to think the clothes I wear now is stupid, so. Um, as far as makeup, I don't really know. One thing that I used to do that I never understood why was I would put on my eyeshadow and then I would, um, oh, no, no, not that. I would put on my eyeliner and then I would put on eyeshadow. And I would have to, like, try to not get the eyeshadow on the eyeliner. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea why I put eyeliner on first. And literally one day it was just like, well, duh, why don't I just put on my eyeshadow and then eyeliner? It was so stupid. Um, yeah. And I used to always just wear, like, pink eyeshadow all the time. Like, I didn't know what looked good on me I just was like I like the color pink so that's what I'm gonna wear and then I would just put white from like my crease up yeah so anyways um the last question is what youtube or beauty guru is your biggest inspiration um I don't know I don't really want to say like inspiration but I will say like Chow Bella is one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I just love watching her videos. But I wouldn't say, like, oh, I want to aspire to be her. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I love Nicole Guerra, too. Um, <clears throat> I mean, just to be, like, honest, like, a lot of the plus size, um, <coughs> beauty gurus or, you know, ones that do fashion, like, I just want to be like that like I want my channel to grow and have a ton of subscribers and be plus size and it'd be okay so yeah 
Um, that was the tag. Thank you guys so much for watching. I tag all of you to do this video. I really loved it. So if you're watching this and you're going to do it, let me know. Um, any questions or comments or anything, leave below. Like this video for more tags. And thank you for watching.